Well, the, the first thesis, the idea of the biological fitness of a population. Could you please yes. expand on, on that as an idea? Because I think it's probably core. <laughs> so the core idea of evolution is that in effect, the meaning of life is reproduction. That life is stuff that reproduces. Um, on our planet, life is stuff that reproduces with a very specific kind of biochemistry. Um, but this is, of course, related to the idea that you know you have computer viruses that are in some sense alive. Life is stuff that replicates, and it replicates with some type of coded instruction, which in biology we call a genome, in computing they would call the program. Mm -hmm. So a computer virus is a program that replicates itself and spreads through the internet. Um, <clears throat> so reproduction and thus evolution are at the core of all of life. So that has to be the core principle for re- visioning what medicine is all about. That's the core idea. And this is associated with a quantitative measure yeah. of the ability of organisms to do that reproduction, which is called Darwinian fitness. Darwinian fitness combines your ability to survive before you have the ability to reproduce with your net or total ability to reproduce once you're given the shot once you're given the chance. So in human terms, you can think of it, your Darwinian fitness is your ability to survive uh, from when you were a little fertilized egg inside your mother until you, know, you graduated from college and you finally married your high school sweetheart and you start to have kids. Hmm. And then you're starting to have kids, that's the sort of reproductive output side of the total reproductive measure. But you don't, your reproduction is zero if you die at the age of five years. Okay? So that's why reproduction, uh, the measurement, accurate measurement of reproduction, which is called Darwinian fitness, includes your ability to survive. So that is the core idea of evolutionary biology. It is, in fact, at the core of why there is life at all. No capacity to reproduce, no, no life. No life. No need for medicine. Medicine is the way it is, you know, confusing, confused, ambiguous, many ways self-frustrating because it doesn't have its fundamentals sorted out. It's like a house divided against itself. It's not clear on its basic principles. So you have to go back to basic principles to make progress. Yes. And the core principle of life is survival and reproduction, Darwinian fitness. That's where everything comes from. No Darwinian fitness, no life, no problem. You have Darwinian fitness, you've got life, but then you have all the problems attendant upon life, which generate the concerns of medicine.